in this part I want to show you why you should be careful about using BitLocker drive encryption on a productional server infrastructure. Uh, in the last video I enabled BitLocker here for the Windows partition and also for the data partition where the Hyper-V machi virtual machines are stored. Uh, here you can see that this is uh, protected here by BitLocker. If I click on the Windows Explorer you see that um, the Windows partition is already unlocked because I'm using it already and if you want to use the virtual machines you have to unlock the data partition. So if you forget to unlock the data partition and go to the Hyper-V manager you will see that you won't be able to access the virtual machines here because uh, for the Hyper-V manager the uh, storage on the data partition does not exist. So if I connect here I can't start this machine here. Uh, so I have to unlock this partition by entering my password here. But now I'm also not able to start this virtual machine here. Um, now I can try to exit the Hyper-V manager and to restart it and now you see um, it says saved and now I should be able to start this VMs here now I would say it works so you have to be careful about using BitLocker in real production environments um, because if you reboot the server it won't be automatically be able to start the VMs again. So one thing here uh, what can help you is if you go to BitLocker to manage BitLocker and then you can turn on auto unlock for your data partition. So now this is enabled and I should be able to see this here yes it is enabled here and now if I reboot the machine the host machine here the Hyper-V server and I log in with this specific user called administrator here the data partition will automatically be unlocked so this is stored in your user profile here. So now I will save this VM and reboot the server, the physical server. So now I rebooted the machine and we now try to open the explorer here and as we see the data drive here is already unlocked. If we go to the PowerShell and say get BitLocker volume, we see that the protection status is turned on and the auto unlock is enabled set here to true. And so we, if we start now the Hyper-V manager, we will see that we will be able to start the VMs immediately. So this is the only thing where you have to be careful about when implementing BitLocker on a productional server. Thanks for watching and seeing you in the next video.